So this is just a quick video to show you how to drain your radiator, to flush your radiator. Well, this is just a draining part. So what you got to do, you got to get under your car, remove the inner plastic shield that goes here, which just pulls down with some grip grommets. And then if you can see just there, I know my starter motor is kind of crusty. If you can just see just there, that's the bleed nipple that you, you twist and it drains. Let me show you now. As you can see, I'm under the car, just a little, just a little twist. See all that dirty water coming out. Clearly hasn't been cleaned in a little while. There it is, all coming out. So make sure you've got something to collect it in. If it's coolant, because you might be doing a repair on a, on a water pump or something, collect it in a good bottle like this. And um, you reuse it again. But if it's dirty like this, you can see the water is oxidising inside the radiator. Causing a bit of rust really. Just like this you should flush it. Especially a new car that you don't know how it's been treated. Let me show you what you've got in your thing. This is why you should flush your radiator. Now, the process would be to um, take off the top hose and run water through it, whether you've got a hose or something. But this is the reason here, because it, this ends up, water ends up rusting inside your radiator, or starts oxidizing inside your radiator and rusting it from the inside out. So, make sure to use coolant and to flush your radiator. Thanks for watching.